You may find on building sites, many electricians will use this specific method to actually strip the cable down. Using a pair of solder cutters, they will cut through the centre of the cable, like so, relieving and showing the CPC. Gripping the actual CPC, holding the conductors back here, you can pull it up the cable. I'll just interrupt Mark there. The method that he is showing, I've often heard frowned upon. You'll hear stories that this method can stretch the CPC and reduce its cross-sectional area, and therefore increase its resistance. But we need to remember that this has been a traditional practice for many years. And although rough handling and excessive bending can indeed weaken the CPC, it's highly unlikely that the force required to pull the CPC through the sheathing can stretch it and affects its resistance. So in my opinion, it's absolutely fine. It is of course possible for the CPC to scrape against the line and neutral insulation as it's pulled, which could damage the insulation and expose the conductor. But this is unlikely to happen in the hands of a skilled practitioner. However, Mark will show us some alternatives that place no strain at all on the CPC. Another method of terminating this cable is if I remove the cable is by using a knife and that you start off again very much like before cutting through the cable to expose the CPC and the idea now always making sure that you're moving the knife away from you okay is run it down the center like so making sure you do not damage the actual conductors inside there, as well as the CPC. Another method would be again using a side cutters, cutting through. This time you're leaving the actual conductor inside the actual sheath like so, grabbing it with a pair of pliers, pulling down on the actual sheath and then you can pull the actual sheaf apart. That is another method. Okay, I've just replaced the cable, as you can see, with a new cable to show the last two methods of stripping twin and earth. The first one is using a wire stripping tool, like this one here, where you place it with the cable like so, and literally, as you squeeze, you can see it removes the actual sleeving completely. You can still use this tool to strip off large lengths of cable, but because of the size of the tool, it's sometimes difficult to get very close to the cable entry, but it still will work. The final method I'm going to demonstrate will be using this cable slitting tool. This tool works by having a blade inserted inside the actual tool and scores the sheath like so. The advantages of this tool is it's safe for you to use, it doesn't damage the conductors inside there, and it allows you to take them out easily and safely without any danger to the conductors at all. Once you've done this, just grab the conductors and just pull the sheath back. Using a pair of side cutters, just come in and cut through the remaining sheath to remove it. 